Hi, this video is perfect for you if you want to work on your dancing skills, on putting simple moves and dance elements together into a fluent pole choreography. If you're a beginner and you already have some experience with basic spins, climbing and pole sets, but you're overwhelmed by upside down tricks, then this is the right level for you. If you're more advanced and you can do crazy tricks on the pole, but you want to improve your coordination, your transitions and your choreographing skills, then this video will be helpful also for you. And also if you're a teacher and you're looking for new ideas for your own classes, feel free to use this choreography or parts of it and teach it to your students. This is a quick video guide rather than a detailed tutorial. It doesn't break down every move and every transition of the choreography, but you're going to find at the beginning of this video key exercises and progressions for the most challenging parts of the choreo. Plus, you find a list with the names of the moves. I also prepared for you a new warm-up video, which is for free, and you can get it on thepoledancer.com slash flow warm-up. It's an updated edition of the flow warm-up, which you've probably seen in my previous tutorials. Now it's even easier to follow along. Besides that it will warm up your muscles, its main focus is on fluidity and making your movements more soft, elegant and dance-like. An easy variation for the carousel spin is the open hold grip. Here's a conditioning exercise for this grip. Stand facing the pole, grab high with one hand and low with the other hand in front of your face. Elbow is on the side of the pole. Chest on the pole, feet out. Pull down with both arms and lift your feet off the floor. Hold in the air for at least 5 seconds. If it feels slippery, only switch your legs and focus on progressively holding longer off the floor. Change arms. To create momentum for the spin, step away from the pole and turn facing the pole. Push with your standing leg off the floor and kick with both legs out to the back. Imagine someone pulling your legs out. Swing them around and step out. Now make it fluently as one spin. A bit more difficult variation is the pull and push with the true grip. Slide your bottom hand lower at belly button height and use the bottom of your hand to push against the pole. Top arm is pulling down. If you're close to the pole, it will be difficult to push, so keep your body out. Pull and push and shift your weight from one leg to the other. Focus more on the pulling than on the pushing. Alternatively, place your shin against the pole in a climbing position to support yourself. This gets much easier with momentum. Step away from the pole and turn facing the pole. Push off the floor and kick with both legs out. Hold the spin until your feet touch the floor. Practice both sides. If it's still challenging to hold onto the pole, keep contact with the floor. Slide your feet on the floor during the spin. Starting position of the knee hook slide. Tilt your hips to hook your leg high and lower your body into a horizontal position. Top hand holds slightly above your knee, bottom hand is under your knee in a true grip. Thumb up. Step 1. Create momentum. Come up on your toes and lean slightly forwards. Roll back onto your heel to spin backwards. When your leg touches the pole, hook it and slide down to the floor. Don't jump, this will stop your momentum. Keep your foot on the floor until your knee naturally hooks on the pole. Step 2. 
Create even more momentum by dropping your head back and looking out during the spin. Step 3. After the bottom leg hooks, straighten the top leg. To come off the pole, crunch and pull your head towards your leg. This will let your hips slide down to the floor. You end in an upright sitting position on the floor, facing the straight leg. Last step to transition to the next move, release your top arm and swing to the other side of the pole. Bring both legs in front of the pole and roll on your belly to the opposite side of your hips. Push up into a sitting position. Put all steps together and practice on both sides until it becomes fluent. A conditioning exercise for the hood ornament is from a back knee hook position. Outside hand high, inside hand low. Straighten your inside arm and keep squeezing your biceps into the pole. Hold for 5 seconds on both sides. For the actual hood ornament you need to get high on the pole. Grab with your hands as high as possible, hook your inside leg and pull yourself up. Squeeze immediately the pole under your armpit and place the ankle of your outside leg behind the pole. Squeeze your thighs and butt cheeks together. Inside arm to the front. If this feels safe, release your outside arm and hold your hands on top of each other. If this feels safe, bring your outside arm above your head and open up your chest to the ceiling. To come out, grab again on the pole, tuck your knees to your chest and slide down with your hands. To add momentum and a little spin at the beginning, first pivot on your inside leg and circle the other leg sideways to back. Second, pull yourself up and finally hook your leg. Squeeze the pole under your armpit, straighten the inside arm first and then the outside arm. Practice both sides. She just wants to close her eyes and sway Exercise your right to work it out Shout out to the birthday girl Say hey, say hey
exercise your right to work it out. Shout out to the birthday girl. Say hey, say hey. Everyone deserves a night to play, and she plays only when you tell her no. Let me know how this quick tutorial worked for you. Could you do almost from the choreography? Could you make it fluent and dance with the music? Don't forget to warm up in advance and download the warm-up video on thepowerdancer.com slash flowwarmup. See you soon!